Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to um, your monthly reading. It should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. So keep that in mind before you drop a nasty-ass comment. Um, sometimes you guys got to flip it, okay? Or if it doesn't resonate, check out one of your other signs. <clears throat> it's weird. My voice just changed. Hmm. Yes, something's going on. Um, some of you may be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer, Leo or Sag. Um, so let's hop into your reading. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Aquarius from now until the end of the month? For Aquarius, love and romance, overall energy. Okay, we have five of swords. This is uh, Venus and Aquarius. Okay, and who is Aquarius dealing with romantically? Who is Aquarius dealing with romantically here, Spirit? Okay, the Empress. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, possibly. Um, somebody may be pregnant or even a Cancer. Like, for me, the Empress is Cancer, too. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel. So um, I think it's because she's the mom, right? Like, she's a divine feminine energy. All right. How does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? How does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? Okay, the Hermit, there's also um, Virgo. What is the current romantic situation between Aquarius and this person of interest? Aquarius and this person of interest romantically. Seven of Wands, okay. Um, that is Mars and Leo, I think, or Saturn. Yeah, Mars and Leo. I'm going to do something a little bit different with you guys because I feel like it will give us some more clarity. So you guys are the first ones I'm going to start this on. Um, and I'll show you in a sec. What's the best potential outcome here between these two romantically from now until the end of the month? Reconciliation. Okay, yes, this is what I'm talking about, Aquarius. Okay, let's push these over here. I'm also going to take a card to clarify this. What's the best potential outcome here for Aquarius and their person of interest romantically now until the end of the month? Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Okay, so this makes sense to me. Now, I do want to say this. Um, I've already pulled on you guys once I started a reading. Usually this happens when I very first start reading cards. Um, a couple of things that came up beforehand that I do want to mention is I feel like there's trust. Like, there's something pertaining to a level of trust, like trust issues. Like, there's something that needs a level of transformation and I feel like that transformation, it only comes after a situation has been accepted. Um, because I feel like once there is, like, I feel like there's a level of imbalance here. So it's either somebody is too much in their head, right? Look at these two cards right here, these guys, where you're not grounded enough with whatever's going on. But there's something definitely here about a transformation needing to happen. But I feel like that only occurs after there's a level of acceptance with whatever's happened with this person. Um, let me keep going and then I'll tell you what I see. All right. What's the overall energy? What's the overall energy here for Aquarius with love and romance? That just shot out. Okay. Butterfly. Beautiful. And can you give me one card on... Um, Aquarius is person of interest, please. Okay, dragonfly, being lighthearted, something coming to light. How does Aquarius feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Aquarius feel about their person of interest romantically? Okay, addiction. Um, you guys may be dealing with somebody that, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact addiction, right? Or it doesn't have to mean exactly what it says. But for some of you guys, I do feel like your partner may have 
something that they are addicted to, whether that's uh, drugs, alcohol, sex, money, um, gambling, anything like that. But also too, I think for you, there is a block here or restraint and there's something that you feel like is stopping or controlling this person from moving the way that they want to move. Okay. And what's the overall situation, romantic situation between these two? What's the current romantic situation between these two romantically? Okay. Separation. So this makes sense to me a lot, actually. Um, all right. So we have the five of swords here with butterfly. There's something in this relationship. There's a level of healing that needs to be done in order for you and this person to go to the next phase. Part of me feels like with the five of swords here, obviously there was some type of fuck shit that was done. Um, Venus and Aquarius. This is a very unique type of situation. Um, almost a very unconventional way of approaching some type of relationship. I feel like um, there was a lot of rules, but somebody didn't like them and continued to break them. Um, and also, too, for me, the Five of Swords is a lack of intimacy as well. But let's see what's going on. Why is the Five of Swords here for their overall energy? Why is the Five of Swords here for Aquarius? Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody may have lied and said that they were single when they really weren't, right? There's... there's Something here where I feel like with the five of swords, there's like a level of defeat and it can be pertaining to this nine of pentacles. So that's Venus and Virgo. Um, and I feel like with a Venus and Virgo, this person tends to feel like they're a loner, but also too. I feel like somebody is overly processing whether or not somebody's single. Like, I think somebody lied about being single. Can you give me some more information here, please? Six of Cups, something from their past. Maybe somebody lied about having children. They're Scorpio. What, what was lied? What was, what was the lie here? What was the lie here? Temperance here, Sag. I feel like this. I feel like for some of you guys, um, somebody's definitely lied about being single and separating either from a relationship, from a divorce, or somebody somebody lied about whatever has happened in the past. And Temperance is here. So again, they're Sag. That's really about going back and forth, um, trying to be patient. What do you want me to tell Aquarius here? What do you want me to tell Aquarius here about this, about, about their overall energy? Okay, the Ten of Cups. So I do feel like, though, as much as you're questioning things, right? Um, you may even question that this person has additional options, right? That you're just one of many options, or again, this is a very unconventional situation. However, I do feel like there is a level of healing that's going on here between you and this person. And it definitely can be a person from the past that maybe you're reconnecting with. Um, because for me, temperance is healing, it's transformation, and with the Ten of Cups here, this is Mars and Pisces. So there is a completion. And I do feel like it's pertaining to marriage, relationships, children. Um, can you give me one card here? Or how, how would Aquarius feel about this? How would Aquarius feel about this Ten of Cups? The Eight of Wands. Forward movement. Okay. So then why is the Five of Swords here? What, what do you want me to tell them about the Five of Swords? Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I just feel like there was a lot of breadcrumbing here for some reason in the beginning of the month, maybe, where it put you in your head and you didn't understand exactly how this could work or where this was going. I feel like it's pertaining to somebody that, again, said that they were single, 
there's a level of abundance. Somebody may have lied to you about, you know, what they have, what they don't have. I feel like there's children involved. It can even be grandchildren for some of you guys. But there's definitely somebody from your past that's coming back around. Somebody I feel like that's hurt you prior. And this is a very optimistic type of energy. I'm going to be honest. The Eight of Wands, Temperance, Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, beautiful cards, Nine of Pentacles. The thing that I really like, though, is that there is forward movement, I feel like, this month when it does come to love and romance. I just feel like you have to trust the process. I think that for you, Aquarius, you're too busy in your head thinking about the past of what happened. And I feel like there's a transformation that needs to happen here. And I do think that that happens, especially with the butterfly. Now, not trying to talk too long on this, but with the butterfly, it's like, you know, when it goes into the cocoon, it eats itself and liquefies, and that is a painful process. And then you emerge something different, right? I feel like this five of swords, that is, you know, that is that hurtful time period. And now all of a sudden you're coming out and it's, it's beautiful. There's a, there's a level of um, evolution here, I feel like, between you and this person. Can you, okay, what do you want me to tell them about their person of interest? Ace of Pentacles. This person may have recently said, hey, I, I, I want to see where things go between us. Um, they may have offered you um, some type of commitment here, I feel like. Uh, they may have even said, hey, you know, I want to see where things go between us. I want to see where things grow um ace of cups this person is coming at you pretty tough i feel like you have ace of pentacles ace of cups there's a lot of love here i feel like with this person um and this may be a new situation from your past but again things are coming around full circle and i feel like timing is everything um what do you want me to tell aquarius about their person of interest what do you want me to tell aquarius about them judgment with the wheel of fortune or with the world there was a, some type of karmic uh relationship right the world we have aquarius we have taurus we have leo we have scorpio as well as capricorn but i do feel like there was some type of car karmic justice i feel like that this person had to go through and there was a level of healing and transformation that needed to happen with them before they could even approach you, to be honest. And I feel like with judgment here, this is somebody that's coming back around. This is somebody who has done a level of work and is in a place where they have the ability to give. I don't know if prior this person didn't have enough to offer you, but now it's like, they're coming forward and these are genuine offers of love. And I just feel like there's something that's transformed with this person. I feel like too, you know, if there was a breakup between the two of you guys, I feel like they were really hurt over the separation. And I think that they felt that sense of loss and there was a level of grieving when it did come to you. And I feel like that's why this person is coming forward. And now it's like they're putting the effort. All right. How does Aquarius feel romantically about this person? The Hermit with the Three of Cups. I think for you, I, I think that you're not talking to this person, probably because there was some type of um, third party situation. Um, maybe it was a friendship. They said, hey, this is just my friend. But then it really wasn't. Um, and I think for you, you're taking time to really figure out, is this somebody that you can really have a full on conversation with? And this is um, Mercury in Cancer. And I think that when somebody has a Mercury in Cancer too, you may feel that with this person that, you know, like, I feel like you're thinking, you, you, you're thinking like it's, you're remembering times with them. However, I feel like there's a lot of emotions pertaining to this. And I do feel like you're in your head over this person. And you're probably not speaking to them maybe just yet. 
Um, or maybe you just started speaking to them. What do you want me to tell them? Or what's the energy of this three of cups? What's the energy of this three of cups? The magician, Gemini's ass, the ace of swords. Okay. Maybe um, for you, it's like you, you want a level of open communication here. But for you, it feels like it needs to start on their end. Um, and I feel like for you, it's also having a level of clarity. This person may be expressing like, hey, this is what happened, right? This is what caused the fight. The five of um, wands, you know, there was a challenge here because, you know, th these additional conflicts came into play because of the third party situation, which could be why you feel like this person has a lot of options. And I think that when they've incorporated this additional person, because I do think for some of you, somebody did have um, a third party situation, a third or a fourth party situation. But for you, like this was a lesson. Th this was a lesson on really balancing, you know, um, what you wanted and trying to figure out like, I don't know how to explain it. Because, like, in my mind, it makes more sense than me expressing it to you guys. However, I just feel very strongly that when this person puts you in a situation where it's put you in limbo, it's made you question yourself, it's really put you in an emotional state. Because I do think that this person has triggered something emotionally with you where you've um, withdrawn for a period of time. How does one, one more card here for how Aquarius feels about this person romantically. Four of cups. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're upset. Like it's not enough. It, it, it's also too like you're over here like, look, dude, like I don't feel bad for you. You know what I mean? Um, but I also feel like you're trying to stand tough and you're trying to um, portray an image where you're not bothered or you're not upset, but the reality is you are, right? Four of Cups. That's that's you. I feel like for you guys, and, and I apologize if I'm speaking and, and it's not accurate, but I feel like as much as you want to portray like you've detached from this person and like there's no emotions, that's not true because you cling you and this person, I feel like cling to one another. I feel like there's a level of security and familiarity. And I don't think when you like when things change, right? Um, I do think that there's a level of insecurity here. Maybe this person has manipulated something or acted irrationally. And for you, it's like, I, I just, I just want to return back to a place where I feel good. Because why is Aquarius upset here with this four of cups? Maybe over a Leo or a Cancer. Um, why is Aquarius upset here with this Four of Cups? What do you want me to tell Aquarius? Justice. Okay, there's Libra. With the Page of Cups. Okay, so something I want to tell you guys is that things are going to be made right here. I feel like you and this person are going to re return back to a place of harmony. I think that it's going to be a surprise to you. But there's something very special here. I am picking that up. This could have been something that also happened last year. For some of you guys, I feel like your partner may be the year of the pig in Chinese Zodiac. But I do think that you walking away from this person or you shunning this person and being quiet to this person, I think what's happened here is now, you know, this person I feel like is coming back around because you left it alone. You had to change the pattern. You had to move on and make yourself happy. And now what's happening is this person's like, wait a minute, I want this partnership. So you not accepting anything less than what you deserve is ultimately, I feel like going to work out into your favor when it comes to this person. What is, what is Aquarius feel this person is attached to? That's not, um, that, that, that's not a positive. That's a negative attachment. What does Aquarius feel like? 
is a negative attachment here. Four of Pentacles, um, that's a Capricorn. So maybe some somebody may just be holding on to a Capricorn in general. Some people, um, some of you guys, it may be the fact that um, they're not willing to let, <clears throat> let you in. It also can be the fact that this person is very stingy with what they give you, whether it's financially, emotionally, physically. But I also think that there's a level of selfishness. You feel like there's a level of selfishness when it comes to this person and not wanting to give up whatever they have going on. Okay. Current situation, we have separation. I feel like with the seven of wands here, that's having faith that this is going to work out. However, it's also standing your ground and saying, if you don't give me what I want, I'm not doing it. The thing about it is you have to trust that whatever you're putting into this, that it's going to come back. You can do it, right? We all can take a level of action, but do you believe in the action you're taking? Because right now, what I feel like with this seven of um, wands here, and that seven of wands, th that's Mars and Leo, there's a lot of passion here, which is why I think you guys miss each other, because there is a heavy emphasis of missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future. But I think for you, staying in control here and demanding a level of loyalty from this person, for you, it's like, that's what I want. I'll be separated until you can provide that. What do you want me to tell um, Aquarius about this situation? The Magician, okay, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, or Aries. I feel like somebody, there's something here being manifested or worked out, okay, Nine of Swords, there's also Gemini energy. I feel like with the Nine of Swords there, you know, um, I feel like you both are mirroring each other, to be honest. And the Nine of Swords, that's Mars and Gemini. So that's a very scattered or, or unfocused type of energy. It, it's, it's also a very nervous energy. Um, maybe somebody's upset because they can't communicate with you. And I feel like there's a level of anxiety with whether or not this is going to work. Did I lose them forever? Are they going to come back? I know what I want. There's emotions here. But with the magician, I feel like the magician is always saying, okay, but how do we figure this out? How do we make this work? Right? Why, why is the magician here with the nine of swords? There's somebody that's heavily fixated on the two of wands. For me, the two of wands, that's duality, but it's also a choice. And it for me, like if you take a look at this card, like she she's looking out the window and she knows whatever she wants is in play. She's putting together the pieces of the puzzle. She's planning something. There's something here in the works. That's Mars and Aries, which is crazy because if you guys have been separated up until this point, Mars just recently went into Aries. So there's a level of action being taken here. I also feel like, and this is not something that I've read, but this is just my personal feelings. I feel like when Mars was in Pisces, which was recently, I feel like there was a lot of things that were hidden. Actions weren't being taken, but I feel like emotions and everything were being repressed. So it was easy to see like, okay, this person, you know, maybe they don't care. Or there was a lot of secrets that were going on. A lot of relationships that were being hidden where I feel like now that we have Mars and Aries, things are exposed and everyone can see it for what it really is. One more card here. Three of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like, and when I ask about your overall situation or relationship, the Three of Swords. So there's a level of pain here pertaining to this relationship. And I feel like it's because, you know, there's a lot of um, anxiety here because of the constant back and forth between you and this person. It's become very painful. And it's like being unable to choose or decide. I feel like your person couldn't make a decision with what they wanted. And there was a lot of games being played here. What do you want me to tell them about this three of swords? Seven of cups. Okay. There's Venus and Scorpio. 
You know, I think too, it's, it's almost like, you know, seven of cups, that's Venus and Scorpio. That's a lot of like dreams or fantasy and thinking about exactly what to do, but having too many choices and really not knowing which direction to go. One more card here. What's the seven of cups here for? What, how do you want me to explain the seven of cups? With the king of swords. I think that you're just confused. I don't think that you know what to do. That's that's Aquarius. Aquarius or Leo. That just shot out. With the six of wands reversed. I think for you, it's like, part of me feels like the situation is like, there's no way I can win in this. Like you feel very defeated here. You feel like there's no forward movement. Like you're trying to be strong and you're trying to portray somebody that's not bothered. However, with that, one more card, please. With the seven of swords or seven of pentacles. Why is this, or seven of cups. Why, one more card here. What, what's, what's there that, what's, what does Aquarius have confusion on? The tower with the eight of cups. Whether or not you should have walked away from a situation or if you should have continued to invest in the situation and see where things went. The problem is for you, you didn't know how things worked out. That's why I feel like for some of you guys, that word trust, trusting this situation is important. Now, I know I've been babbling for a while. Here's your outcome card. We have reconciliation with the Wheel of Fortune. So something is definitely coming back around for you and your person. Um, we're going to find out how do they feel about you romantically. I can tell you right now they're heartbroken. I think that they're very hurt. I think that they want to make things right. I think that they want to make you a very solid offer, especially with judgment here, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups in the world. They want to end a cycle and start something new with you and something that's very deep seated, deep rooted. This relationship is one that goes back for a while. I feel like it's not something relatively new. I'm not getting that. Um, with that being said, Aquarius, um, thank you so much for being patient and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.